Ron Bai, everybody. Give it up. a flight attendant. Yeah, I did that job to keep stereotypes alive. Uh, get it? I'm gay! And when you're a flight attendant, you hang around with macho male pilots all the time, and they love to go to strip clubs. They took me to my very first strip club, TNAs, in Albany, New York. I didn't know what to do, so the captain said, here's $20. Bring this up to the person who you want to dance for you. So I brought it up front to the bouncer. Uh, he wasn't amused. Uh, but halfway through the evening, one of the strippers locked eyes with me. Her name was Carolee, three E's, and she said, what's wrong with you? You haven't been looking at me all night. You don't like my moves? You don't like my breasts? I'm like, no. But I really like those shoes, girl. They're fierce, but let me tell you what I learned the hard way. No matter how gay you are, like this gay, you can't touch the strippers. Cause I got a little drunk, I had two Zimas. And, and Carolee came by and I thought, eh, I'm just gonna tap her on the ass. Oh my God, you can't do that. I tapped her on the ass. She pushed me. I went dramatically floating to the ground. Then the bouncer came. He straddled me and started choking me. And I was like, shit, things are finally getting good around here. <laughs> so excited to be here though. I'm in a seven year monotonous monogamous relationship. Sorry. Get those words confused. I, uh, <laughs> I keep this relationship for the rent control, and uh, and well, mostly because the guy that I dated before this broke up with me because he was a scientist and said that I wasn't smart enough for him. Yeah, ooh, because he was a fancy scientist working on the human genome. <laughs> I'm like, I may have been educated in Jersey, but I know what the human genome is. My parents have one on their front lawn. <laughs> But the guy who I date is Asian, and I don't know if you know this, but when you're a gay white guy that dates an Asian guy, they have a little nickname for you. Does anybody know what it is? Rice Queen. That is what they call me. Now, I don't believe in labels, but if you're going to label me, you better fucking label him, right? I'm a white guy that dates an Asian guy, and you're calling me a Rice Queen? He's an Asian guy that dates a white guy. I think they should call him a Dairy Queen. <laughs> Fair is fair, that's all I'm saying, you know? That's all I'm saying. But, uh, it's, uh, you know, I like that I don't have to do this online dating, like Grindr. Do you know Grindr? It's like yeah. Tinder, but sassier. And <laughs> this guy on there one time said to me, Hey, are you into puppy play? I was like, excuse me, what? And he said, I want to be your puppy. <coughs> Yeah, so I tried it out. I took him to a Walmart parking lot and locked him in a hot car. <laughs> and don't knock it till you try it. We both finished twice. You know? <laughs> but what you might not know by looking at me or listening to me is that I'm a huge fan of sports. I particularly love football. Do you like football, sir? Yeah, I like football. Yeah, you do? Give me a high five for football. Come on. Show me what you got. Football! Yeah! <laughs> uh, that is nice. You can watch a game with me anytime. I mean, bring her too. She can make us sandwiches or whatever the fuck she does. I don't know how it works. Uh, this was just my favorite time of the year because we had the Super Bowl. And every year I have a Super Bowl party. But it's mostly because six years ago I was invited to a <coughs> vegan Super Bowl party. Oh. Yeah, bring a book. So, <laughs> my Super Bowl parties consist of me and five of my gay friends. And none of them have any idea what the fuck is going on with the gay. <laughs> All they know is that anytime someone gets tackled, we do Cosmo Shots! <laughs> That's a nice touch, right? 
So I know the most about the game. I got tired of re-explaining to all my gay friends what the commentator said. I'm like, we don't need closed captioning. We need queer captioning. It would work like closed captioning, but it would pop up on the screen with easy to understand gay terms, re-explaining what the commentator said. Like, this is how it would work. During this one particular game, the commentator said, Gronkowski's got the ball. He ran it really far down the field, almost getting a touchdown, resulting in first and goal. And my gay friends were like, huh? <laughs> what does that mean? And if we had queer captioning, it would just pop up, the tight end took it really deep. <laughs> and there was another part of the game where the commentator said, the New England Patriots are being fined a 15-yard penalty due to unsportsmanlike conduct, resulting in fourth and long. And again, my gay friends were like, huh? What does that mean? And if we had queer captioning, it would just pop up, the dudes in pretty colors are being little bitches. 